Hello everyone, it's Saturday, March 7th, and today I will be doing my second unboxing of the Raspberry Pi B Model 2. So here it is, and uh, I've got this nifty little case, and I've got this great little mouse. This will obviously be my my daughter's setup. This is a Raspberry Pi that uh, Element 14 actually uh, sent me. This is the tiny little Wi-Fi uh, device to give it Wi-Fi capabilities. And uh, this is a neat keyboard that I got for her. So this is the assembly of a computer, which anyone can do with their kid. This box I got lets the pie fit neatly into it. Let me close it up. And you pop in the SD card. And you don't need the network connection. One of the pleasant surprises when I tested this was that uh, on the first boot up using uh, the Noob's installed disk. If you do that with that installed, you get Wi-Fi. Plug in a mouse. Plug in a keyboard. Plug in HDMI. Now I'm going to turn this TV on first. One of the nuances about the Pi is that you want your HDMI monitor turned on before this last step, which is plug in the power. And of course, a Raspberry Pi doesn't have an on or off, which is probably one of the only negative things I see about this as far as being a computer for kids. So now that's it. I just built a computer for my kid, which uh, will be her little workstation, which we'll use over the years. And she'll, of course, be able to look inside. And I'll explain to her the parts of the computer. This is set to boot up directly into Scratch, which now, after having the Bo and Yanni or the Dash and Dot Kickstarter robots, I'm seeing is a popular style interface for learning to program. Um, Dash and Dot use um, Blocky, which I think is Google software, and uh, uh, Noobs for the Raspberry Pi uses uh, Scratch, which I believe is MIT software. But either way, you can see there's the boot up procedure. You've got your mouse. And when I set up the noobs disk, I told it to boot directly into Scratch. I'll have to find some way to weigh this down. The cables themselves are heavier than the computer. And there you have it. We're in the Scratch uh, application. And I could file, open, save current project, no, examples, animation, playground, OK. And there is a little application built with Scratch. This is the program here. This is it running. And you can move things around. And uh, there you have it. Under five minutes, built the computer, powered it on, booted into the Scratch programming environment. And uh, Addy had played with this for uh, quite a while yesterday. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi that Element 14 uh, sent me, and I wanted to uh, 
do it justice by doing a uh, better unboxing video than my first one. And this will be the now the regular permanent use that it gets put to here in our home as our four-year-old's, I guess it's a, I want to say workstation, but it's more like a playstation, encouraging her to learn to program and have a proper appreciation for the insides of these things uh, so we can delve into topics deeper than you would typically encounter with consumer electronic devices like iPads. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon and don't forget to subscribe.